I know nothing about traveling to outer space. I know nothing about rockets, which means I think I'm perfectly qualified to build a space shuttle that's gonna go to space. This should end well. Hello everybody, I'm Kyla Keen and welcome to Space Flight Simulator. You probably want engines. Right? Those seem important. And then this is the fuselage. Yeah, that seems important. I know you're supposed to have like multi-stage sort of stuff going on. What is this? That must be some kind of like shield or something. That's where the actual astronauts go. That's the tip of the, of the rocket. So like that's what's going to blast through the atmosphere probably. Are there fins? Do we, we need, we need like uh, aerodynamics. Yeah. No. That ain't right. Structural. Nah, we don't need that. I was really hoping to get some fins on this thing. Maybe I add something like that. That feels better. That feels more correct. Okay, let's just try. Let's let's see. I don't know how to do this. What are the controls? Spacebar? <gasps> Ignition. Toggle RCS. Your rocket has no RCS thrusters. Good. I didn't want RCS thrusters anyways. Where have I gone wrong? Okay, so each of these are fuel. Got that. You must be RCS. So like you're, you're for like adjusting as the rocket kind of makes its way through the turbulence of the atmosphere, I guess. A landing leg, interesting. All right, we have ignition. I guess we want to go max throttle. Oh! We're going. We're going. Oh, we're going. Look at how much fuel we have left. We've reached a thousand meters. Okay, we are we are kind of tilting a little bit. I don't do do we want to follow that? We probably need to activate our RCS so that we can get a little bit of of angle here. I don't because you kinda wanna go at an angle, right? You don't want to go straight on through the atmosphere. Okay, we're at 10 kilometers. 10,000 meters. 15,000 meters. Am I in space yet? What is, where's space? This, this is insane. Past the Carmen line, leaving the atmosphere. Am I? Am I gonna make it? We're about to run out of fuel. <gasps> Guys, we're still going up. Space. Final frontier, we actually did it. Well, I'm out of liquid fuel, so, so we can go ahead and kill that. Do you need liquid fuel for RCS? Apparently, apparently you need that. All right, fair enough. I'm still going. I'm still moving through space. And I guess at this point, there's no atmosphere. So you're just kind of gonna go in whatever direction you're going in. Oh, look at that. There's a map. Oh, okay. Is that the moon? Are you serious right now? We're not even, not even remotely close. Just navigate to the moon. Just take me to the moon. All right. Dang, man. That's really far. <laughs> I mean, eventually we'll, we'll at least get to the point where we could be in orbit with the moon. Actually, you can speed up time. Did I fall back down? Did I fall back down to the earth? Apparently I did. Let's build a new rocket. Okay. How crazy can you get with these things? What is this? Six wide? 12 wide? Are these things huge? Oh my gosh. This thing is massive. Actually, I have an idea. Can you select more than one item? Yes, you can. Clone. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a wild idea. What if these function as like the actual rockets and then the astronauts are in the middle. That's how they build space shuttles, right? That's how they do it. See, I'm a, I'm a professional. You need a bigger cone than that. You gotta go bigger than that, dude. Do they not have cones for these structures? You just don't, you don't build them that big. I feel like that's a problem. I feel like that's gonna cause a lot of issues. I mean, that way, thank you. Yes. I feel like I've just built two missiles. I mean, I guess basically I have. Although they don't have any engines. We need engines. How big of an engine? What's the biggest engine you got? I think this is the biggest one. Can I fit three of these? Oh, oh. This thing's gonna be a beast. And then you go down to like a six wide and you put that in the middle. I know you're supposed to do like decoupling and stuff. I don't know how to do any of that. I'm just out here building a rocket. I need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but wait, isn't this a decoupler? Stage separator. Yeah. Probably bring this down. There you go. You think I need like 
structural stuff. What what is what are you? Side separator? Can I just bring this whole thing closer? No, no, no. There. Just like that. Maybe I'm on to something. Maybe I should start building space rockets. No. No, I definitely should not. Don't do not believe anything that I'm saying. I'm just gonna put this on the, the end. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look right. This does not look like a normal rocket. But we're not here to build normal rockets. We're here to change the world. I probably need RCS, right? Do we put a rocket on the end of this thing? Maybe we just, just put a rocket on the end of it. That way you got a little bit more to work with. You know what? Yeah. I mean, we've got fuel, right? This is all fuel. Shall we go to outer space? Are we going to be able to get this thing to outer space? Ignition. Okay. I want all of these to ignite at the same time. That is not how that happened. That is definitely not the way things played out. Oh gosh. Guys. Guys, we're rocketing into the ground. No, that seems fine. That's fine. That's the, yep. That was part of the design. That's part of the plan. And then see, everything will be totally fine. The The spinning is, is for just showing off. We're showing off. We're showing the people what we're capable of. Oh, gosh. Right. Okay. Okay. Probably what you should do is lower the throttle to zero. Hit the ignition. Turn all of the engines on. And then you slowly throttle up. That was so satisfying, dude. So clearly we've got a lot more power here, but also we have more weight. And it feels like this rocket is less efficient than the one that we were using before because it's so much heavier. But I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just kind of rolling with it. We definitely need to, yeah, okay. So how do you detach? Bro, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I could do this all day, man. Okay, so where are we? I don't know. Let's check the map here. Th this is us? We, you know, could we make it to the moon? If I say navigate to the moon, what the heck does that mean? Transfer window. What are you talking about? What are you talking about with transfer windows? What is this? I just want to go to the moon, all right? We've got the encounter up here. Maybe we speed up time, see what happens. 2x acceleration. I don't I don't think we're making it to the moon. I'm going 3x. Cannot time warp faster than 3x while under acceleration. Okay. Let's check on our our rocket here. We're we're cruising. We're cruising into the darkness of space. We're using up all of our fuel and we're out of so now what? Seems like we're going really fast. So what happens if I speed up time? 25x. Are we just cruising until we meet like the, the moon's orbit? Go 100x. The moon isn't really moving though. Moon's still down here. How do you get to it? We've passed the orbit of the moon, which is actually kind of sick. Oh my gosh. Wait, so this is escape? So we're still under the pull of... Earth's gravity? We're going towards Venus. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit warmer there. I'm at 2500x speed. I've hit escape velocity, escape the sphere of influence of the Earth, and now at this point, um, you're you're done. You're just gonna be floating out there forever. Uh, yeah, we'll go 10,000x. We'll go 50,000x. <laughs> We're getting pulled into the sun, aren't we? Where am I now? That's me. We already passed the sun. We are now a planet just in orbit forever. Unless like another planet picks up our orbit or something. Oh, look there. There's the moon. What? Oh, because there's Earth. It might take a little while to uh, to meet up with Earth. Maybe a few billion years. I don't know. Maybe one day our, our orbits will align once again. But for now, we'll just float through the emptiness of space. Now, there's something very, very interesting to me here. Cheats. Infinite build area. Infinite fuel. <laughs> no atmospheric, no gravity. I love the idea of part clipping. 
So like we could just stack like a bunch of stuff on top of each other. So I have infinite build space. Okay, so check this out. We select everything and then we can copy it. Oh, yes. I just keep doing that. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. That seems right. You're doing great, kid. You're doing great. How many rockets can I chain together? I guess I have infinite build space. So as many as I please. I do have to connect all these together, right? Can I build like a... <laughs> can I build a rocket pyramid? This seems like a terrible idea. Like these engines are basically going off directly on top of other fuel they're all gonna immediately blow up right or are they i do need to connect all of these things i would love it if we could find something that is just the right size and nothing is just the right size huh this rocket is off centered and i don't care okay this is obviously uh a very bad idea uh, I want to try it. Your rocket has no capsule or probe, making it uncontrollable. Your rocket has no parachute. Launch it anyway, fella. Launch it anyway. Oh, I see what I see. I see what you mean. Like you literally mean no control. So like I can't do anything. <laughs> we can fix this. This probably. So I don't know. Like get rid of that. Put that there. And then you there. I'm gonna scoot this guy over there. Now you're actually correct. Is, is this better? Okay, no warning this time. So much better. We want to throttle all the way down and then turn every single engine on. There has to be a way to turn the engines on without having to click each one individually. I guess what I could do is I could have the bottom layer go off first until they use up all their fuel and then ignite all of the second layer so that they don't immediately explode. <laughs> Okay, ignition on, throttle up. Exactly as I planned it. <laughs> I mean, you got to admit that explosion was sick. That was insane, but kind of exactly what I thought was going to happen did indeed happen, which makes me think that my theory, my game theory, might play out correctly if we if we just do it in layers it's like a rocket cake yum also worth mentioning um i have infinite fuel i kind of forgot about that i kind of want to turn it off and just see what happens uh yeah we're burning through fuel pretty fast can we control our rocket in any way whatsoever i guess without rcs there's no way to control it there we are we're doing our thing. We're just going to fly in a very straight line. That's all we figured out how to do. Just flying in a straight line. We've gotten very good at that. Can we make it to the moon? I highly doubt that. We're out of fuel. It's amazing how much quieter it is now. There we go. Out of the Earth's influence and into the orbit of the entire solar system. Wait. Oh my gosh, we're out here with Jupiter, dude. How far is Saturn, though? No shot. No shot that Saturn is further than this? What the heck? I can't I can't keep zooming out. You're crazy. No, Saturn just doesn't exist in this universe. That's what I've decided. It's too far. Let's revert to the launch, and um, let's give this theory a try. We're going to activate all of the bottom engines first. It's going to be very interesting if this thing can even lift off. Because this is a lot of weight. All right. Ignition. Go. Ooh. Lift off, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Never a doubt in my mind. Okay. Okay. Let's speed things up. Let's go 3x. See how high up we get with our first stage of the rocket cake. See, I'm telling you, our space programs, they need big thinkers like me, man. Big thinkers. Okay, okay. This is this is where things get 
No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't turn the ignition off. <gasps> now we're just spinning. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I don't... I don't think this guy end well. All right. Well, um... Might as well use up our fuel, right? <laughs> Whee! Hey, we've still got these engines. We can still fire these engines. This is fine. Don't even worry about it. This is totally part of our design. You need to turn the ignition off before you set off that second stage. I mean, honestly, since it worked so well, maybe we do another layer. <laughs> now, obviously, any cake needs a cake topper. This may very well not work because these are going to be very heavy for all of these to get into the air. Let's send it. <laughs> Your rocket is too heavy to launch. What? You're crazy. Okay, what if I replace these with the bigger rockets? Hmm? Right? The, see, that was the problem from the get-go is that the engines weren't big enough. Obviously. Send it. Copy that. Send it. Copy it. Science. All right, how's that? Ah, it works. It works. I got to get the throttle down. Okay. Ignition. Then you activate all of these lower engines. Throttle up in three, two, one. It's so loud. We've got some serious tilt. I don't like that. Oh, no. We're dipping. No! I love how this arrow is like, hey, you're supposed to go that way. No, I, I know. I know. I got I got it. Okay, we've gone full circle. Cool. So we're going to kill the ignition now. Right? Hello? Kill. Stop. Stop. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's bad. Crashed into the surface of the earth. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I, I understand. I understand. Maybe... Physics and gravity and all this science stuff just isn't ready for the rocket cake that will take us to unknown parts of the universe, okay? One day, though. One day. That seems all right. But see, this is why I've got backup plans. Here we go. Yes! Yes! Go, Rocket! The little cake rocket that could. That's the wrong way, buddy. You're going the wrong way. Or you're just going in circles. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, no. That's not gonna work. Oh, now we're spinning. Now we're definitely spinning. Look like one of those fireworks that spins around. How fun. How festive. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> All right. So clearly rocket engineering is something that I was destined to do. <laughs> Let's open some fan mail. Don't worry about the astronauts. They were trained for this. They're fully aware of the risks. This one comes from Sullivan. Sullivan keeps it short and sweet. Just says, hi, I love you from Sully. And then it looks like he, he drew some, some like jelly. Nice. And a nice card from the rest of the family. They say, my son and I love your videos. We really appreciate how you keep them family friendly and fun. It makes watching together such a great experience. Thank you for all the good laughs and memories. And thank you for the awesome fan mail. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>